Hello and welcome. It's Majin Bob again. This time we're going to be talking about my impressions on the new DNF Duel update. And while it brings a lot of changes, there are still things that I kind of hope are addressed later on into the future. But that doesn't mean that I have a negative outlook on this. What it means is that I think this is a good step in the right direction, but there's a lot of improvement that could be made along the way. Now, let's get into some of the details real quick. Now, the first thing, let's talk about the patch. The balance patch is, you know, I think a good step because the truth is, is that you want people to feel empowered in a fighting game. And there were just some characters in this fighting game that were just so underpowered that when they went up against a better character, their tools were just not able to get them out of the fight. So the, the balance patch, I think, addressed a lot of issues. Now, I haven't really faced a lot of people, and that's probably my fault because... I haven't been able to play as much as I would like to. And as of this recording, I've only played one other person. I know that's that's asinine to say, but the thing is is that I tried to play other people. Trust me, I tried. It's just that I was kind of stuck back into ranked limbo again, where I was there for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes looking for a match and I'm just like What's going on? I thought I thought people were going to come back. And, well, truth be told, you could say, well, you know, you're just, you know, at a high level. It's like, yeah, but, you know, this is going to go into one of my points, is that I would like to start over ranked with a new character. What do I mean by that? I would like it that my character has the same rank, right? So Ghostblade would stay at legend rank, but I would like my other characters, like let's say I wanted to start with Kunoichi, I would like it so that I start at the bottom or maybe somewhere like what Tekken does. Tekken has every character kind of its own ranked system or tier, right? And once you raise a tier in one of your characters, every other character is raised up to a certain level. Now, I kind of would like to see that with DNF Duel because honestly, I don't want to be trying out a new character in ranked for my Ghostblade because um, I tried it before and I got my ass, uh, I got a free colonoscopy and uh, yeah, I'm cancer free now, so yeah. But the thing is, is that, you know, it's not fun. So moving on, I wanna talk a little bit about uh, online mode a little bit more. And I wanna talk about maybe including another mode. And I have said this before, I'm not too sure if I said it on YouTube, but I would like them to go into casual mode and just press a button and search someone else who's just, you know, who doesn't really care about ranked necessarily, but wants to have, you know, multiple games without having to look for a lobby and going into a lobby and then probably getting kicked out of lobby, you know? that whole charade so i don't really want to be venturing into you know the lobby system too much mostly because it's a pain in the ass if you're not doing it yourself so while i don't mind the lobby system when it comes to like friends i do mind it when it comes to like just looking for a random game because it's a lot of steps to just try and have one game so I kind of hope they either 
they do what I said earlier, where they have multiple tiered systems for different characters, or just have a casual match, so that you could freely search out someone out in the world and just have a, a game. So, what else do I kind of hope? So, one thing that I hope kind of gets addressed is some of the hitboxes. Um, so, what do I mean by that? Kunoichi's frog, the toad. Uh, the hitbox on that is a little weird. And so, I see it with combos because I try to do certain combos that allow me to knock the opponent on the ground with a hard knockdown with the frog and I want to pop the character back up with the frog's fireball however in order to do this there's a specific way you have to do it and it requires a little bit of timing and it requires you to understand that you have to hit the character with the toad at the top of the toad's head which is weird when you think about it that way and I just really would like it so that maybe they fix the toad so that when it when it hits the character it's a guaranteed knockdown into the follow-up I know that's a lot but I mean let's let's be honest I would rather have it be consistent than be inconsistent and having to really really utilize a lot of resources just to make the uh you know the toad viable although it doesn't really require many resources it just requires timing but still it would be nice to just not have to worry about you know in the in the air right if you knock them in the air it should kind of cause a hard knockdown just long enough so that the fireball hits so I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm asking for a little too much there. Now, what else do I think about this patch? Um, overall, I think this is a good step in the right direction. I just wish there was a little bit more to do in the off uh, offline kind of setting. Maybe, I don't know. There's not much to do with offline, honestly, except training mode and story mode and arcade like there's really not much with the offline mode honestly other than just training i really don't find myself doing anything else but besides training sound like a saying or something but i just haven't found myself doing anything so anyways uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for, you know, being a subscriber. And really, I do mean it. Thank you very much for watching. And just taking some of your, t some of your time out of your day to just watch any of my videos, honestly. Just any of them. Because, honestly, this is just... <laughs> it, it's been a rough kind of few years so it's, it's nice just to have people you know liking what you do so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time peace